Now, most of us casual Windows users have gotten to the point where we've been thinking, okay, ClearType came out, but what's the difference? Now, you see the difference in... It's kind of vague. It's a, it's a little difference, but in the way that font rendering is done in Windows, it's just not to the same standard as maybe Linux or Mac OS X. So what I've done is I've found something as an alternative to make the fonts a little bit smoother. No, I'm not going to sit here and tell you GDI++, go to the download, read Japanese, and yeah. We're not going to do that. This is a program that I found that's built off GDI++. It's in active development. It runs as a service in Windows, and it is a really great alternative. And I just want to shed some light on it because it needs more attention than it currently has. It deserves more attention. So here we go. All you got to do is go to Google. See, Google. And no, I don't have it installed at the moment. This is the default Windows font smoothing. Um, you just got to search for GDIPP. Okay. Hit search. And the first result should be GDIPP project hosting on Google Code. Okay. Cool. Yes. All right. Awesome. You go into that and it'll give you a lot of details about the project um, it's basically a replacement of the Windows default fault renderer and it brings you the effect of text like Mac OS X and Linux distributions it's easy to use uh, with an ignorable overhead and it is fully customizable which is great you know? <laughs> this is finally something that we can actively use um, I know people have had a lot of trouble with GDI++, even I have. Just running the thing is really stressful, you don't know, oh, it's just, it's a pain. So, as you can see, the activity here is high, it's, it's got people working on it, it, it supports 64-bit as well, so all you 64-bit users will love this. Um, it's just a lot of information over here about the project and whatnot. Um, there's some notable information here in the third paragraph though. It says it supports both 32 bit and 64 bit Windows 7 or Vista. And you can install it in Windows 7 or Vista as a service or as a registry entry. But they say that in Windows XP in 2003, since there's a big difference in system architecture, you cannot install it as a Windows service or a registry load module mode mode module what am I going on about um, and it says an alternative that you can go to if you're a Windows XP user so just make sure this is for Windows 7 or Vista only if you are an XP user this is not for you but there is an alternative linked on this page so view it anyway okay that's cool um, I don't know how I didn't come across this, you know, earlier. It, it's just so much better. So I'll guide you through now what you have to do. Um, just one second. Right. Now there are two downloads here. Uh, there's one for 32 bit and there's one for 64 bit. Uh, you just download whichever one you like, whichever, well, whichever one supports your version of Windows. Uh, to find out if you have 64 bit or 32 bit, you just go straight into start and then, you know, yada yada yada. <laughs> Alright, uh, I've got 32 bit personally, so I'm going with the 32 bit download. Uh, depending on your browser, you might ask you to save, open, whatever. I'm in Chrome, so save and open the setup file. Yes, I do want to run it. I just clicked it. And it's just a basic setup. Next, 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 next sort of stuff. Alright, this is what you don't want to skip through. Okay. You can add this as a registry entry. I haven't tried it, but personally, I wouldn't do it. Because messing with the registry is just bleh. And a program loader, I've tried that out. And it just, it adds like a little program that you just drag 
programs that you want to be uh, s smoothed out sort of thing so it doesn't smooth out everything it only smooths out what you want so if you only have one program that you want to be smoothed out that is for you that is not for anyone and that is for the casual user who just wants everything to be smooth and everything to be fixed without any problems or anything like that it adds a service and it requires administrator privileges so I'll do that next install and now I wait for the thing to do what it's good at um, should be done yep there we go now that it's done Um, I think, yeah, yeah, uh, fonts will only smooth out, um, either when you restart the program or just like GDI Plus, you have to minimize it and then open it again. That won't have to happen always, just this once after you install. You could just restart and everything will be smoothed out after that. Um, so I'll show you that the fonts do, do look a lot clearer. Um, I don't know about you, but... Windows 7 basic theme is really ugly. <laughs> my theme record my recorder uh turned off my theme so I couldn't do anything about it. But usually I use the see through stuff and it's all cool. So it probably looks a lot better in there. But you'll notice that I don't know, fonts just look better. They look a lot clearer. It you probably can't see the difference in this video, but you will be able to see the difference. It's just all over the OS. It just looks much more. It just looks better. In general, it's just a lot better. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of a site. Um, YouTube, for example. You go to YouTube. I don't know. You'll just notice that themes are. Like, just say you got a theme on a site, blah, blah, blah. You get. Your fonts are a lot more rounded off. You don't have to have those jagged edges, and yeah, it's nice. It's a nice change from the normal Windows crappy clear type damn hell thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go now. I'll have a download link in the description. You enjoy it, and I'm out.